What's up, party people? It's your boy Jay weighing in at 185.8 pounds. We getting down there. So today we decided to do a uh, efficient workout here, mainly upper body because we'll be hitting the bike. So I did some heavy rows here, really focusing on getting that nice contraction in the back here, full range of motion, really getting a good stretch at the top, getting a good squeeze. I don't know why, but I got a ton of back engagement here. This little workout I did was super short, super sweet. Everything was on fire here. Same thing here. We just hit some row or some f incline flies. I've been really liking these. These seem to be really helping with the development of my upper chest. I've noticed a difference in them. Um, feeling super good. You can see my biceps, just how lean I'm getting even in these flies. You know what I'm saying? Flies are good too because you actually get uh, full contraction of your pec in a fly. That's why I really enjoy them. It's just really a good way to get a full range of motion with your pec. Now you can get a lot more load with uh, dumbbells and bench press, but I feel like I get an efficient workout with these. Uh, my dumbbells only go up to 52 and a half and I can bench way more than that, fly way more. So I really like the, the addition of the flies, at least for right now. Anyways, uh, and then I did some really heavy overhead presses here. Uh, I believe this was my second set, so I was already pretty fatigued at these. You can see, so 52 and a half for these is quite a bit for me, especially going through the full range of motion. I like to touch the dumbbells to my shoulders every time I bring it down. I know some people don't like to bring it down that much. I do prefer as much range of motion if your body can allow for it. And then I went into these pull downs. I really like these as well because I get a lot of unilateral. They move individual of each other. So I've been getting really good contractions in my lats from these as well. Without getting too much bicep engagement, I can really isolate with this machine and they feel great. I think, again, we're doing... I got to redo what the math is on here. I think it's 75 aside, but now that I'm saying that... It might be much more than that. It might be more close to 90 aside. Is that 180? I don't know. It's a it's a sufficient amount of weight though. I get a good workout when I got it full full repped out like that. And then here's me just doing a little bit of posing. Really solid workout. I hit a couple sets of biceps and triceps too, but this was before that. You can never get the biceps and triceps to look good on the video. But super solid workout. All right, today. just finished up a little bit of a lift. Again, we're trying to be efficient with our workouts. So uh, I just was supersetting. I did a heavy uh, lift, supersetted with a lighter lift. Um, and exercises that uh, were, uh, you know, push and pull essentially. I didn't do any legs uh, because I was gonna hop on the bike and try to do just hard intervals on this. So that's gonna kill my legs good enough. We did already hit some legs earlier this week. Feeling good, man. Feeling good. Yeah, a lot of people talking weird lately. The pop the video's been getting popular, you know, because the people have been commenting and not knowing what's up. So one thing is uh, this diet is absolutely sustainable if you do it right. Um, a lot of people have been looking at the comments or the videos over the last couple weeks where I've been a little bit more intense with the dieting, a little bit more restrictive, just because we're going hard for the last, uh, to the close out of the year. But, you know... Uh, yeah, lots of, I'll answer some questions. I don't know if I've already done it in this video, but there's definitely some things I need to respond to that people are just misinformed about. Anyways, um, just like cardio, a lot of people saying that cardio is bad for, um, spiking your metabolism and whatever. It's, cardio is one of the most beneficial things to your health, and it's one of the things that keep you lean. Um, whether you're doing steps, cardio, or HIT, HIT is actually, high intensity interval training is actually fantastic for building muscle and boosting your metabolism. So, you know, a lot of these people are just too ignorant, uh, you know, basing their information or just really biased information, you know, 
Uh, so it's just interesting to see. I know I'm going to answer some of these questions, but... Or not even questions, respond to some of these comments. Because it's just a lot of people talking. Man, I got to fuck it. You can even tell, and this isn't even good lighting, how pumped my bicep is. This is poor lighting, you can still see it's... It's looking great. If this was a better camera with better lighting, you'd be like, holy shit, Jay, you getting jacked. Yeah, I am. Real jacked. Eating one meal a day. Lifting weights. Doing cardio. Meditating breath work. Being the best person I can be. Failing at times, but succeeding overall because of consistent effort. You can take that shit to the bank, motherfuckers. <laughs> All right, I'm going to lock in to get a nice good uh, cardio session in. I also am having actually a really bad allergic reaction to something. I don't know what it is, but I got mad hives, so... Yeah. Anyways, I'm going to lock in. More love, more success. Just finished 60 minutes on the stationary bike. Doing intervals for the last 20 minutes, or whatever, of about three minutes on, one minute off, two minutes on, one minute off, one minute on, one minute off, back to three. Oh man, exhausted. Whew. I was listening to the new Fred again, or it's called 10 Days, the Fred again album. Great album, great album. All right, tonight we got some super lean ass steaks, a can of salmon, a can of sardines, a little bit of peanut butter, and some keto bread. Um, yeah, a little bit of protein, quite a bit of fiber. Fantastic, super simple. We murdered it today. Let's keep it going. Oh, and some frozen veggies staying there. We gotta go buy some more. We on our last like two cups of mixed veggies. So we gotta go. And we gotta meal prep a little bit tomorrow too, I think. So stay tuned for that. But we got some steaks and some fish. Some broke boy surfing turf. Actually, we're gonna have uh, a couple scoops of this as well. Um, just to make sure that we hit that protein number. How much is this again? 24 grams. How much is this? Pea protein, organic brown rice protein. Yeah, like 20, 26 grams of protein. Something like that. Where are the calories on this again? I haven't been at this in a while. There's so many things here. I think I looked this up before. I think it was like 1, 130, 150. Yeah, I'm going to have a double scoop of that. So another 50 grams of protein. 